all right welcome back everyone to another video and this is a very quick one so i have been trying to figure out what the heck's wrong with opencl on linux and i guess i figured most of it out it's weird it's out there it's opencl what can you expect it's like they they moved to opencl 2 then uh, announced opencl 3 which is basically opencl 1.1 no one knows what's going on but I just wanted to do a small benchmark now that I sort of realized after three years of having the same laptop how the heck I have to run OpenCL on this thing. Uh, the basic answer is you don't do it using Mesa. So I'll, I'll get to it. Um, you do need binaries from Intel. It's called their one API or level zero which is like a compute uh, collection of compute and neural network APIs. Uh, that provides all this OpenCL um, binaries and stuff like that. So it's just a mixed bag of everything uh, that Intel just provides. Now, since I don't think it's GPL and I don't think that's the one of the reasons that it's on uh, Fedora's official repository, so I'm not sure what's going on. Um, or maybe it's open source, like it's MIT licensed. Um, I think it's open sourced well yeah it is so yeah it's still not in uh, fedora's library it's not related to mesa for whatever reason uh, they decided to go ahead and do their own um api not their own implementation of the opencl api uh there is one based on mesa there's one based on um, other things so if you do a simple cl info uh you get a mixed bag of things there are so there's so there's so much going on so the initial one is called the platform number of there are total three platforms that it takes on my system uh, one is the official the the open cl graphics hd graphics which is the intel hd stuff built into it uh, which is open cl 2.1 compatible uh, it's provided by intel it supports open cl 1.2 2.1 and all of that good stuff um, so that's one so right uh no that's the other one so there's there's open cl there's pocl that the pocl project provides then there is clover uh clover uh is mesa's implementation which basically is limited to 1.1 i think they are going forward with 1.2 i'm not entirely sure uh but so mesa works tries to sort of combine a lot of different gpu hardware into a single um, driver or uh, user space driver so it has a lot of translations underneath it a lot of uh, just in time compilation doing uh, happening over and over again uh, and then it spits that out into whatever api you want to use opengl vulkan uh, or opencl in this case and some drivers uh, work with the correct path uh, and the correct just in time compilers to have the clover api enabled which is their opencl implementation but that's only limited to 1.1 and not a lot of projects that I've seen used it. Um, so you, you do need the closed source or what it's called the Neo implementation. So again, this one's from Intel. I don't know why it creates like so many vendor names and why is it so confusing. But anyway, uh, so yeah, so Intel HD graphics gen generation 9, that's my current system. Um, and yeah so this is the actual proper one that uh, my system now uses uh, it had clover installed like not again as i said not a lot of programs automatically detect that and uh, you can go here and so this per v stuff is what uh, mesa is talking about so that's this should be most of mesa stuff or even they are using spur v now i'm just confused but uh this one is uh the built into um uh, this one's another weird one this is the one that cpus uses so it's called the pcl implementation um there is one more that mesa does similarly with llvm so if you have the software rendering enabled as well so and you don't have any other opencl device you can use clover to actually use software rendering over cpu using the llvm soft pipe to give you opencl this is not it this is something else. this is called pthread intel xeon um it's from pl pocl 
or whatever we saw here, uh, where it is. Yep, the POCL uh, project, which is basically OpenCL 1.2. And this is what we see here, OpenCL 1.2, POCL project, which basically implements OpenCL on the CPU using P threads so that you can create a bunch of threads and do a bunch of parallel tasks. Uh, that's also limited to just 1.2 uh, version of it. Um, and then it ends with OpenCL 2.2, uh, which is a proper Intel HD implementation. So I don't know where the rest of the Clover definition is. So I, from what I understand, this initial output, uh, this bit is the actual Intel stuff. Uh, this bit is the POCL stuff. And this bit is the MESA stuff. So MESA is just 1.1, POCL is 1.2, right? Now this uh, gives the detail of the Intel HD implementation up to right about here. Uh, this gives the details of the POCL implementation up to right about here. And this gives the Clover implementation, which is nothing. So from what I understand, Clover uh, will only work well with Radeon SI or Radeon graphic card. Most of the ADI Radeon graphics stuff because that uses uh, LLVM pipe after the just in time. Uh, the NI no, they don't use NIR. And I think they use NIR. Then that goes into through the internal Radeon SI stuff. Then that spits out LLVM stuff. And then it gets rendered out as it's going through the LLVM GIT. Eh, kind of, uh, it's not, it's a mess. So yeah, I don't have any uh, AMD cards here. So when I get a couple of AMD cards in another system, maybe I'll do a follow up. Uh, but that's all you get for Clover. There's just nothing there. Um, and then uh, here you just have some more stuff about the uh, OpenCL ICD loader um some access stuff that apparently didn't make it up there so yeah here's the basic rundown of what opens <laughs> looks like in a modern linux system um there are two or three versions of it if i had an amd card there would be another one if i had a cuda card there would be another one that Intel, that uh in nvidia provides and then starting from i think it's the red line is mesa 2.1 uh sorry mesa 21.3 or something like that where they should have nvidia NVIDIA's reverse, in, not the reverse engineer driver for NVIDIA cards that's done by a, a separate open group um, that should also show up in Clover. Right now it shows up but doesn't work. And then so then you would have if you have the open source MESA as well, if you have the closed source drivers as well, which do not always go together correctly in a single system. But if you somehow manage to get all of that working together, you should have again two uh, open seal implementations for nvidia cards mm, yeah so I, as you can see i have already done a, a run but i'm just like uh i'll just clear it so we'll just run over geekbench uh, 5 and here's the reason so geekbench 4 if i do geekbench 4 compute list uh it only gives me the open seal version of it uh, so it just detects the correct open cl which is the uh, nvidia driver i know i have called it the nvidia closest driver don't uh yeah just out of habit because vendors usually give out closed source drivers this doesn't seem to be closed source so this is nvidia's vendor driver rather than the mesa stuff um, and here it, where it gets weird uh, with Geekbench 5 they introduce Vulkan now Vulkan doesn't use OpenCL it has its own inbuilt uh, API for compute and so now it shows us two uh, different ways of running the compute benchmark either with OpenCL or with Vulkan now OpenCL is as here as well the new implementation that means it's the vendor Intel implementation uh, again, open source just clearing it up. Um, now, the Vulkan implementation is actually the Vulkan that MESA provides. So, if you hear we run VK info, I think that's the one, or Vulkan info, um, that should give us everything uh, about that this GPU supports in terms of Vulkan API. And here you can see it's 1.2. I'm just trying to get if it says MESA anywhere. 
uh, I don't see it, but yeah, it's, it's part of the Mesa uh, driver and that provides a Vulcan as well. I uh, can't see it anywhere, but yeah. So, um, so we can basically run uh, compute OpenCL and compute Vulkan. So compute OpenCL runs for a few minutes and then gives us the um, result. So here you can see the complete, you know, information about the system. I'm running Linux 5.6. It's on Fedora 32. Um, that's my laptop or portable workstation if you want to call it that Intel Xeon E3 1535M uh, it has the uh, Intel HD 690 or P690 or something like that and basically the P stands for professional or like the GPU's internal firmware is more created towards compute rather than graphics so um, if you have the same Intel HD on say an i7, games will run slightly better and compute will run slightly slower whereas on this one it's more geared towards compute so compute runs slightly better and games run slightly slower but again we are talking about an Intel HD graphics how good is it going to be anyways I don't think so much. Um, so yeah it, it will take some time but here you can see it you know, correctly shows all the frequency stuff like that compute units are 24 which is surprisingly m more than i thought something like intel hd would have but eh. um yeah so the cpu's kind of dated this from the skylake era provided that everything modern intel is from the skylake era they didn't really do anything uh, for a long time there but still, it's like from the original, I think it's like a second gen Skylake. Um, and uh, so, four cores and eight threads kind of, again seems kind of dated right now because of AMD. Uh, but it has 32 gigs of ECC memory, and I'm kind of happy with that. So, right, uh, just waiting for it to finish up because I don't really want to do any editing uh, or fast forwarding or anything like that. So, whenever it feels like it wants to finish up. Uh, I'll be happy for it to do that. Uh, at this moment, I, there's barely any uh, CPU load, so if I even run HTOP, there's like just one core. So yes, there is OBS recording, but I've specifically switched OBS to software renderer only, so that the uh, scores here don't get skewed. So it's running software rendering on the Xeon cores, which seems to be fine using AVX. Uh, so here is our um, benchmark. And I don't care if someone steals the compute key and the like the result key and you can paste it here and you can see what the result looks like, which is 2369, which is much lower than I got last time. So I, I guess running OBS has some effect on it. Um so let's do the Vulcan benchmark. And that uh, so basically I got double uh, when I was not recording on OBS but I specifically had the API disabled so that it doesn't use the uh, GPU um, so yeah here it just says device name is Intel HD Graphics P630 uh, yeah so that's the right one and KB Lake uh, GT2 so KB Lake is basically old school Sky Lake I mean like the Sky Lake revision I think it was 14 plus or 14 plus plus something like that not sure um, so yeah, so that's now running on the actual GPU uh, using the Vulkan extensions that's on Mesa and Again, even in this case, there's barely any load from the actual graphic uh, from the Geekbench benchmark um, Most of it is just from OBS uh, Geekbench seems to have like a little bit it pops in and out, but for the most part, it's just fine uh, so they, these are exactly the same amount of tests and again Geekbench for Linux doesn't have a fancy UI because no one asks for it. Uh, so you know I, I can't show you ooh, X amount of X amount of benchmark completed or fancy images that, that the benchmark generates. So it's just all um, all on the command line. But again here uh, you know just doing its thing. There are a few more things running in the background, but eh, works for me. Uh, so, I 
just waiting for this to end let's see how long it takes uh, so again in my experience what I'm, from what I've seen from the last few runs it's uh, it's almost half if not less uh, than the actual OpenCL benchmark so this could be one of many things and this is not like a end all be all of, a, of graphic benchmark tests sorry compute benchmark tests um, Geekmatch is heavily heavily uh, optimized towards OpenCL because it's a standard that has been here for a very long time um, Vulkan is fairly new so I'm sure there are a lot of optimizations remaining in the in the code it's just the first version of Geekbench to support Vulkan API Vulkan API in itself is new so the compute uh, bits or the compute implementation of the API might still need a lot of work on the driver end uh, and other things like that whereas OpenCL is much more mature and I'm also guessing that you know intel's direct implementation of opencl using their one api stuff uh, is a more um, closer to hardware with less uh, just in time compilers and uh, translators in between and it just runs more efficiently um, than or something that mesa would run now, of course if mesa comes back on track with their clover implementation it might be that it might just as well run as fast as the OpenCL uh, implementation from Intel and maybe also have some neat tricks up its sleeves uh, like uh, you know maybe having more than one sort of GPU uh, available and being able to use it as once uh, so I'll just copy this link and paste this here. so this is the uh, benchmark result so it seems more now so it is very weird because when i did with um with the recording off it seems as if the open cl benchmark was much faster than the uh than the vulcan benchmark but here vulcan marginally beats open cl so not entirely sure what's happening if the obs recording is messing up some way or something like that um but yeah uh that's open cl that's vulcan implementation and both work fine so again this is not a comparative benchmark against other hardware just within the api within the scope of compute on gpu there are now two options uh, and once clover comes online maybe there will be three who knows so yeah just sort of a look into how messy opencl is at the moment uh, on on linux and uh, why maybe this also answers why people flock more towards cuda than they do go towards opencl because it's just harder to find something that performs on opencl really well whereas you can just buy an nvidia gpu i, I don't buy nvidia right i am big fan of amd they have a lot of open stuff they have open source graphic drivers open source compute stuff uh but it just with the sort of ecosystem that nvidia has created around cuda it's much more easier for a run for your average joe programmer who doesn't really care about open source uh to just buy that and run it um with that said i hope open seal catches up uh you know they they need to sort out their versioning name you know with the OpenCL 1.1 making a comeback with OpenCL 3 basically being reported back to OpenCL 1.1 it's a mess um, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one